Cardi B fans are attacking Jermaine Dupri now. One of the problems I have with today's generation is they're too PC. They're too politically correct. They don't understand constructive criticism. Jermaine Dupri was doing an interview with People TV. And they asked him a question about today's generation of female rappers. And he says, there's too many female rappers that sound the same. He said, most female rappers today are like stripper rappers. Where all they do is rap about stripping and hoeing. And Cardi B fans got mad as hell. They're all over Twitter attacking this man. Calling him a nobody. And then this goes to show how ignorant of history that Cardi B fans are. A lot of uh, Cardi B fans are teenagers and they don't know anything about the history of hip hop. Jermaine Dupri is one of the pioneers of hip hop. He's been producing music since the 1980s. He's one of the pioneers of hip hop. So when I see Cardi B's teeny bopper fans on Twitter attacking Jermaine Dupri and saying he's a nobody, it goes to show how ignorant they are, how ignorant they are of history. I don't have a problem with what Cardi B herself said about Jermaine Dupri. Her response was, is that sex sells and that she raps about what she raps about because it sells. And she says whenever she tries to make a song that's positive, people don't want to hear it. People don't want to give it airplay. So she says she sticks to rapping about pussy and rapping about ratchet things because that's what sells. Another thing that I like that Cardi B said in her video is that she gave props to some of the female rappers that don't rap about stripping and hoeing. She talked about uh, Tierra Whack. She brought up Rhapsody. These are some of the female rappers who don't rap about stripping and hoeing. These are some of the positive female rappers in today's rap. But there's not many positive female rappers in today's rap. That's the problem. 90% of today's female rappers only rap about stripping and hoeing. Now, there's nothing wrong with being sexual. There's nothing wrong with rapping about sex. There's nothing wrong with rapping about stripping. But I think the point that Jermaine Dupri was making is that there needs to be more diversity. There needs to be more diversity in today's rap. There's too many female rappers rapping about the same thing. And that's the problem. Now, Jermaine Dupri has propped up some of these rappers that Cardi B brought up. He's promoted Rhapsody. He's promoted her on his show. He's promoted her on the radio. Rhapsody is one of the uh, lyrical rappers on social media. She's older. She's in her late 30s. All her music is rapping about the real deal, the real life situations. I like her music. It bothers me that she doesn't have more followers. How she's a positive black female who raps about positive things and she doesn't have more followers. She only has 47,000 subscribers on YouTube. I have more subscribers than that. And it bothers me that more black women don't support Rhapsody. Don't support Tierra Wack. Tierra Wack is another positive female rapper. All her music is about having a good time. It's very positive. She doesn't rap about bitches and hoes. She doesn't rap about anything derogatory. All her music is very positive. And I wish more female rappers would do that, would do this type of music. But most female rappers are doing what Cardi B is doing. The majority of female rappers are doing what Nicki Minaj and Cardi B are doing because sex sells. And at the end of the day, 
most people are going to do what makes the most money. It doesn't matter how much they got to de degrade themselves. It doesn't matter how much of a clown they have to act like. If they're getting paid a lot of money to do it, most people are going to do it. So I don't really have a problem with Cardi B herself because I like the fact that she was honest about her response. I like the fact that Cardi B is honest about not being a, a good rapper. She doesn't even write her own lyrics. She doesn't produce her own music and she doesn't write her own lyrics. She's famous for getting on social media and acting like a fool. This is what she's famous for. She's famous for selling sex, for selling an image. And this is why most people know who Cardi B is. She started off as a stripper and then she got a spot on Love and Hip Hop. And she says every time she tries to do something positive, every time she tries to make a song that's positive, nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to play it. So she just goes back to her ratchet style of music. And I, I can't blame her for doing that. I can't blame her for doing that. I can't blame her for just doing what makes the most money. As a business person, I understand that mindset. But I just think, I just wish more female rappers would just forget about money is not everything. Money is not everything. I'm not just going to do anything for money. You have some people out there that will just do anything for a dollar. If you're willing to just do anything for a dollar, then you have no dignity. You have no self-respect. Jermaine Dupree is absolutely right. There needs to be more diversity in today's rap. There, meets, there needs to be more diversity with female rappers. Now, if you go back to the 1990s, there was a lot of diversity with female rappers. You still had your ratchet rappers back then, but there, there was more diversity with mainstream rappers. You had Lauren Hill. You had Queen Latifah. You had MC Light. There were so many positive female rappers back then. And these female rappers were mainstream rappers. They weren't underground rappers like the positive rappers now. If you come across a female rapper nowadays that doesn't rap about stripping and hoeing, she's most likely going to be an underground rapper. She's most likely going to be an underground rapper that most people in the mainstream have never heard of. Most people have never heard of Rhapsody. Most people have never heard of Tierra Whack because these are positive female rappers and it, it blows me away how the masses the majority of people on social media only want to listen to ratchetness they only want to embrace ratchetness and then when somebody tries to do something positive and uplifting they don't want to hear that so I can't really blame Cardi B for just sticking to ratchet fuckery, ratchet buffoonery, because that's what makes the most money. That's what gets the most attention. But I respect Rhapsody and Tierra Rack for sticking to what's positive, sticking into what has the most dignity, having class in themselves, having dignity in themselves. Nowadays, anybody can be a female rapper. Any person can have success being a female rapper. All you have to do is rap about stripping. All you have to do is go on social media and act a fool. When the Catch Me Outside girl can have success being a rapper, anybody can have success being a rapper. It all depends on whether you're willing to sell yourself out. Well, wh whether you're willing to degrade yourself to get that success, because not every woman is willing to degrade themselves in order to have success. So it depends on, you know, what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do. A lot of people have different opinions about this topic, 
leave a comment rate and subscribe